Hi guys, welcome to our new video. For this video, we will be talking about the tilt switch. So let's start first understanding what is the definition or the purpose of this equipment. First, again, if we will talk about tilt switch or a mercury switch, it is an electrical switch that opens and closes a circuit when a small amount of the liquid metal mercury or the ball itself connects to the metal electrodes to close the circuit. Um, I, I also would like to share about this one. I, I also would like to share a game that gets an, um, that gets an idea about the tilt switch. So basically on that game, or let's call it the maze runner, um, they got the idea on how to move your phone to going to the left, going to the right, if you move your phone or you swipe your phone going down, basically your character on that game will, um, um, will slide down, right? This is also, they got the idea, I believe so, in this specific equipment because if you will move to a specific rotation or if you flip this equipment um, downwards, basically it will move something. Okay, it will send something. Okay, so if you can see it here in the figure, this is our close position. When you say close position, this is the part where the ball, here, this is the ball, touches the central pin. Okay, again, this is the ball that touches the central pin. Okay, and the ball is actually inside the metal case the ball it's actually it composed or it, there's a small amount of mercury so please take note i i believe that it was um discussed in your um, in your chemistry class that we need to make sure that we uh we are not touching the mercury itself right but don't worry because the mercury ball it's inside the metal case okay there that's the closed position how about the open position basically the open position the ball is be, uh, when you flip the tilt the ball of course it will be here and it's not uh, and the ball is not touching um, any um, pin or any metal from the central or the outer pin okay so how can we deal with this one using our um, using our tinkercad or using our arduino so um, i will show you an example i will be showing you two examples right now first example it's i will be showing you uh, uh we'll be using a serial monitor and the other one it's uh, still the same we will be using the serial monitor uh, using the tilt switch but uh let's have uh i will be adding um, a led light so that you will know how to or you will know if I tilted it to the right or it's not tilted okay let's proceed I'll open my tinkercad one moment here so let me create new circuit so basically this is um, project number um, this is project number seven already right so since this is project number seven i'll be changing this one project seven this is they'll switch okay i'll be getting one moment um this one of course uh, we've been using this one one moment uh -huh. okay here we go after this one uh, let's go ahead and start inserting or um, pinning the needed 
wires and the resistor and also the tilt switch. First things first, I need to have a 5 volts going to our positive pole. So I will be changing the wire, the color of the wire, uh, making it red. Next, ground. For our ground, uh -huh. putting that one here. So for the ground, um, I will be changing it, this one to black. Okay, there. So since I already have that, I'll go ahead and um, put the resistor. Yeah, the resistor should be here. And I'll be flipping it. And I'll be putting the resistor from the positive going to this one. Okay, after that, um, and there should be, this is for positive, right? So there should be a negative that will be coming here. Okay, there. So since I'm already done with that, I'll go ahead and get the tilt. I'll put it here. Then you can see here terminal 1 and terminal 2. Basically, you can um, select in, and you can basically select a terminal where you want to put the positive charge and the negative charge it's really up to you but for this example i'll be using the um this part on the left i'll be using this one in, as a positive part so since this is a positive connection um, i'll be changing this one along wait no I'll be changing this one to green because I believe that I need to have, I need to insert digital input 13 going to this horizontal line. Okay, then lastly, there should be a connection from the negative going here. So I'll be changing this one to black. There you go. So if you can see the flow of the circuit or the development board, um, there is a positive charge aside from coming from the five volt. Uh, sorry, coming from the five volts of our Arduino, there is also a connection coming from our digital input thirteen. Okay, it depends on you and which uh, digital input or digital pin you will insert the wire. But for now, I'll be putting it to 13. There. So I already have the positive here in this side, in this horizontal line. No, this is a vertical line. Sorry. And on the third vertical line, let me double check. Ah, sorry. Yeah, vertical line. Ah, that's horizontal. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, that's... Hmm. It's, it's correct. First horizontal line, this is all positive. Third horizontal line, this is actually for our negative. Okay, so since I'm good with the connection, this time I'll go ahead and code it. Okay, this is the challenging part. Or the most exciting part. So I'll be changing this one to text. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One moment. There. I'll be removing that. One moment. I'll be removing that. Okay. Now, I need to um, create a variable for our tilt pin. And this is basically 13, right? Then after that, I will do the um, pin mode. Um, the tilt pin. To be the input right next I would like also to since I'll be using uh, a serial monitor which is this one I need to use the serial that begin begin then 9600 then after that I will also put here in the setup um, function the first thing 
that the program will do. Uh, for example, serial monic uh, serial established. there semicolon then after that I'll go ahead and proceed in the loop so in the loop of course um, I need to make sure I will create a variable here so int value equals digital read because I'll be getting the um, I'll be getting the um, the value from the tilt so digital read um, tilt pin then equals to true let me double check oh one oh I forgot okay there one moment so basically if it's true meaning I'll put here it is actually tilted okay then I would like to put some delay one moment 100 so that um, the purpose of this one it's to make it faster okay next else Uh, I'll be putting that one here and basically this one should be upright okay let me double check my code mm -hmm. two opening two closing okay, there. so let me run or start simulating it oh it happened In the void setup wait oh okay sorry again start simulating mm -hmm. void loop true was declared in the scope oh wait uh sorry one moment so the void loop here sorry I forgot the semicolon and there should be in oh oh my god if the value that's why okay let me let me go back in value equals um, digital read um, tilt pin oh my god man next value it's equivalent to true there no because it should be small letter if you can see blue here meaning um, we need to you uh, it's all small letters for true and also for false the true earlier that we did um, all capital letter did not work okay so we'll be using the true all in small letters mm -hmm. let me double check one moment i think this is good now there it's working so it's already tilted so basically for this one one moment uh, let me move this one uh-huh this is tilted so if i'll move it here it's showing upright there right as easy as that again this is tilted this is upright um the purpose of the delay which is 100 it's to make it faster because if you will put this one as 1000 sorry 1000 
then there um, there you will see that it changes the status every second there there every second so it's better that it should be faster so that since the purpose of this presentation or this simulation it's for you to see if it's tilted or not there there so since i'm done with that uh, hmm. since i'm done with this i think it's also better that i will include um lead light just like what i said earlier if we will go back here um the codes here um based here i use something like this it's also similar to what i did here but i separated um, i separated it na lang sa if i created a uh, a variable value so that dili na mo maglibog okay like this one okay let's proceed tilt switch with lead basically we inserted a lead here okay so first things first um we will go ahead and create a connection from our um, digital input 12 going to this part there one moment let me adjust it <laughs> adjust adjust okay there there and then after this um, i'll be changing oh god Um, this is still green then there should be a resistor coming from the negative charge mm -hmm. negative charge here then there should be a uh, here there should be a um, lead light lead light so again our lead light here will indicate um, if this is on one moment or i think it's better to put the resistor here because of the positioning of our um, tails so basically for this one since this is cathode this will get a negative charge and the anode will get a positive charge right i think we are all clear about that one so uh, this horizontal line will get a positive charge which is coming from the digital input uh, digital pin 12 and this resist or this horizontal line from the resistor will get a um, negative charge okay so let's start coding it so in coding part, um, this is basically so easy. So aside from creating a variable here, we also need to set it up for our pin mode. So for our pin mode, it's LED, then this is output. The mode for our LED, it's output, right? Next. After this is tilted, no, I think it's better to put um, digital uh, right first, then lead equals to high meaning if you can see that the lead light it's on um, we you're tilting it so it's tilted if it's not it's upright okay so let's start simulating it there so basically it's on because it's tilted and also you can see it here in the serial monitor if you will change that one there it turned off and it's showing up right there you go hopefully you have learned a lot from our discussion right now um, the next video will talk more about the devices or the equipment in Tinkercad and also in Arduino see you guys